What's up guys, 8 Andy for Games You Loved and today we're going to do a very quick unboxing and gameplay of the awesome 985 NES Classic Popeye. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have Popeye for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Very early Nintendo game, originally released in 1985 and as you can see, a black box game. These black box games are really cool to look at, very iconic. And the Popeye one doesn't disappoint at all. Great sprite work on the front. I'll give you a very quick tour of the box. So, yeah, as you can see, it's in fairly tidy condition, especially for a game of this age. And the back of the box is really cool. Now you're the king of the spinach in a battle for Olive's love. Here is, uh, yeah, some screenshots. And as you can see from them, being such an early Nintendo NES game, it is quite basic uh, graphically. The NES obviously had a very long lifespan. And, yeah, the games came a long way over the course of its lifespan. Popeye, though, despite being quite basic, is excellent fun. And we shall have a uh, we'll have a quick gameplay of it shortly. So here's the cartridge, and as you can see from the back, it's a five screw variant, phased out by Nintendo later for the three screw variant. Uh, slightly harder to replace should you need to for whatever reason, but you know still available. Um, here is the uh, the manual as well. We'll have a quick look inside, shall we? Some really cool uh, some really cool sprite work in there. So, there we have it. Popeye box complete for the NES. Okay, so let's take a look at Popeye for the NES. Uh, as you'll quickly see, it is uh, reminiscent of a lot of those early arcade games. Um, sort of quite tricky collect-a-thons. Um, games like Bomb Jack, things like that. Really good fun, quite, uh, quite simple. So, the object is to collect the hearts that Olive Oil is throwing down to you whilst avoiding Brutus, who is quite a big lad. I love the sprite for Brutus, Brutus. I think that's absolutely brilliant. Um, now, Popeye's weapon, other than avoiding him, is to grab the spinach. And uh, yeah, random drugs testing needed here, because you can take out Brutus quite quickly when you've got that. Um, and that gives you a little sort of uh, breather to grab hearts. Obviously, the game ramps up in difficulty big time as you go along. Now, the other thing that you can do is, above my head there, there is a balloon which knocks down the bucket, which is in the middle, and if you time it just right, I can try it now. Okay, that's not so good. <laughs> I'm not really good at this game, I'm quite new to it. Um, yeah, it lands on his head and takes him out. So, as the game goes on, Brutus gets more and more aggressive, and yeah, he can jump down and hit you from above, and yeah, chase, he chases you down a lot more. The first level is really just to get you in the swing of things. But it's a hard game not to love. Uh, I think the, the, the sprites are just absolutely fantastic and Popeye is such a classic, um, sort of timeless cartoon character, isn't he? So, yeah, as you can see in the top right, one more heart to go and that is the level completed. Olive Oil loves us again. Alright, well that was the, uh, the quick look at Popeye for the NES. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at it. Definitely worth picking up if you can like, track down a copy. And yeah, as you can see from the box, it's a really nice, uh, nice one for the shelf. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Take care. Cheers. Bye bye.